And this is your Twitter Mo Socks. Um, today we are still going to be digging on the socks so porn. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, what to you, Mo Socks? All right, guys, um, welcome to our tutorial Tuesday, our uh, a series where we teach you uh, musical instruments, music production, videography, photography, everything that goes all the way in making you a professional musician. We'll be teaching it right in this channel. So if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe right now and click the bell by the side so that you will be notified of our classes. Yes, so let's, uh, today we'll be continuing our class on the saxophone. Last week we talked about uh, the parts of the saxophone, history of the saxophone, how to take care of the saxophone. And then, and then we now look at the entire um, saxophone syllabus. If you have not, if you miss that class, you still have an opportunity. You will see the video in the, right there in this channel. Please go ahead and watch it and then follow up what we are doing here. Today we'll be talking about the keys of the saxophone. We'll be talking about the sax and brochure. If we see half time, I'm going to tell you the, the, how the keys of the saxophone relate to the keys of the piano and how the keys of different types of saxophone, how they relate with one another. You see, you have a lot to learn today. If I see half time, I'm still going to give you um, the, the basic fingering exercise that you can be doing while you wait for the next class where we'll be teaching you the, the saxophone fingering chart. So right now, Verasax is going to be teaching you the keys of the saxophone. So Verasax, thank you. Okay. This is the key. Okay, thing. right. Before she continue, let me quickly classify the keys of the saxophone for easy understanding. Okay. We have five classes or five categories of the keys of the saxophone. One, we're going to be talking about the floor keys. After that, we take you to the low keys. Then we take you to the side keys. Then we take you to the palm keys. And then we take you to the auxiliary keys. Let me go it over again. We have the low key, the floor keys. We have the low keys. We have the side keys. We have the palm keys and we have the auxiliary keys. Yeah. So we're start, starting from the floor keys. Okay. Can you quickly show us the floor keys of the starting saxophone? Starting from the floor keys, we have the key B. This That's is key, key B. B. Looking B. at the floor keys, yes. This is key A. Yes. This is key A. And this is key G. Uh -huh. Key G. This is key F. That's key F. This is E. E. This is, e. This is D. D. And this is C. C. Okay. Yeah. So for easy understanding, let me go through it again. So that if you miss that, you get the gate. This is what you call your key B, your key A, your G. This one is your key G. And then this is your key F. This one is your key F. This one here is your key, is your key E. And then you have your D, your key D, and you have your key C. Let me continue from up. Let me take it from up. You have your C. You have your D, you have your E, you have your F, you have your G, you have your A, and you have your B. Yeah. We know this. So let's go. Then you have C, D, E, F, G, A, B. B. That's your floor key. Very simple keys. Alphabet, letter C to letter B. And then let's quickly look at the low keys. Low keys. Oh, let me use tenor sax. You know tenor? Uh, has the low voice, so let me cheat you there. <laughs> so we have the low keys. The low keys, I see classify the key C as part of the low keys. This is low key, key C. This is your low key E flat, low key E flat. And then on this side of the saxophone, you have the low key B flat, low key B flat. And then inside, you have the B, low key B. And then on this side, towards you here, you have your C sharp, and then let's just add this as your G sharp. Let us go through it again, if we can okay. see it. We have the... Raise the sax up so that okay, they can okay. see you. This is your... Key C. Key C. Mm -hmm. This is your E flat, low E flat. Yes. Okay. Then on this side... On this side, we have your B flat. Uh -huh. We have your B. Your B. And we have your C sharp. We have your G-sharp. Your G-sharp. Don't worry, we're going to give you a kind of a picture on the screen. Okay, having said that, let's move to the side, side keys. keys. The side keys, of course, they are at the side of the saxophone. So, 
There are sacks. Please quickly show us the side keys. Okay. Raise the sacks up so that they can see. This is the B flat. On B this flat, side, you have the B flat. B flat uh -huh. We have the C. Your C. And, and then your e. e. Your key E. All right. Let me go through it again. This is your starting from the 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 the, the, the lowest part, and then we we'll take it up. We go from your B flat. And then you have your C, and then you have your what? E. Your E. These guys are on the high note. Just as we talk about the low keys, they are, we're already touching the high keys here. So high C, high, um, I mean high B flat, high C, and then your high E. Okay, let's quickly look at the palm keys. These guys here, these are your palm keys. They are the ones that are, you are going to be playing with your palms. That's why we call it the palm keys. So the sacks, every part of your hand is working, even your palms is working, your fingers are working. Okay, so looking at it, Velasquez, can you show us the okay. palm keys? We have the, the, the G. The, the key G. D. High D. High D. Now, she's, she's listing it from the behind, behind to the front, behind to the front. Take it, all right, let, let's go this right now. High D. This yeah. is your E flat. This is what, what do you call this? High D, your G. Your G, key D. D. Key D. Your uh -huh. key G. And this is your key E flat. E flat. This is your F. That's your key F. Let me go through it again. This is your from behind. This is your your D. This is your E flat. And this is your key F. Okay. Let's quickly look at the auxiliary key. Why do we call them the auxiliary keys? The auxiliary keys because they are helper keys. Yeah. They are just there to give you alternate fingering chart. When we come there, you will see what this auxiliary keys will be doing in the saxophone. Uh -huh. So we have the the auxiliary keys. These are the keys that are going to be helping you do a lot of, you know, uh, flexibility and add, adding some dynamism to your saxophone. You have the low F sharp. The low F sharp. This I call it the F sharp. This one here is the high F sharp. They are auxiliary keys. See this guy. They are not the same. This one is just like this. Low behind, below it, you have the F sharp, and then this one you have the F sharp. They are both F sharp. One is low, one is high, and then you have the auxiliary B flat. This tiny key that is hanging between your B key B and your key A. So this is your auxiliary uh, B flat, and then up there, there's this one that's mine is black. If you see her own, it's, um, it's still gold. You see it here. This is your auxiliary F. That's your key. auxiliary F. Let's go through it again. Auxiliary F. Auxiliary B flat. Auxiliary F sharp high. Auxiliary F sharp. Okay, that is the keys of the saxophone. So right now, I'll just run through it in a jiffy. Okay, low keys. One, you have your B, let's start from C. You have C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. B. And then you have your low keys, which I see called this key C, E flat, B flat. Inside you have your C, B. Outside you have C sharp, and then your G sharp. Then, you talk about the side keys. Side keys, this is the key. What do you call it? Key. B, B flat, flat C, C, and E. E. Okay, as you go over it, you get to know them by their names. Okay, then we talk about the palm keys from behind forward. You have uh, your, G. your D, your E flat, F. and then your what? F. Your F. Then the auxiliary keys, we talk about the what? Low F sharp high f sharp auxiliary b flat auxiliary f thank you guys that is the keys of the saxophone okay so let's go to saxophone and brook your saxophone and brook your talk about how you position your mouth on the saxophone to get a good sound my trumpet is not here every instrument have their own kind of embroker when you come to uh, trumpet you have you have you place your mouth like this and then you play it as if you are playing it, blowing into a cup. Now this one is, the sax is right inside your mouth, inside your mouth. And then you're going to be, 
be blowing into the saxophone but how you position your mouth and where exactly you put your mouth in your mouthpiece the depth of the saxophone into your mouth determine the kind of sound you're going to get we're going to teach you right now like this i'm going to pronounce what you call letter f, f. letter f so in this letter f i'm going to go f f f f, f. f. so if you if you pronounce letter f you discover that your your lower jaw the teeth is your lips you're going to cover your lower teeth uh -huh. to protect your lead oh, and then the the upper teeth that's your maxillary teeth is going to be on top of the mouthpiece something like this ah uh. and then here you have the ah uh. can you see this ah uh, and then ah uh. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. When I started that, I was doing, I was, I was going like this. Ah ah ah! I suffered, and then I had to unlearn that. So you go again. Ah uh, ah, uh. and then you now go. Then you now. So let's go. Let's ask. Can you demonstrate that? Okay. No, gradually. Okay. Your your mouth. Look at it is there your, your the lips is under the teeth okay and then your the teeth the teeth is kind of on top then covered by these lips oh now let's go now it's not about the strength with which you are blowing what you need is just a good positioning don't over tighten your mouth don't tighten your mouth too much just go ah ah and then just go don't press anything right now you just go that's a good sound if you get now let's start from the tip let's put the 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 the, the sax at the tip okay. then you, that's you. you're almost going to get no sound you get no sound you see versus not getting any sound so if you're not getting a sound it's either you are too you are kind of at the tip so you are you are you are preventing the tip of the lid from making the vibration that will give you the sound so don't just go there and just give I'm not, I can't get any sound. So if you're not getting a sound, go inside the beat, go to the middle. So where your mouth is going to be, I prefer you just put it at the middle of your mouthpiece. This tip of the mouthpiece, you just put it at the middle. Your, your, your mouth should be at the middle. So let's start from the tip again. No sound. And then I go to the middle. sound if i if i get to the if i go deeper i'm going to get one kind of a sound that looks wow it's going to sound <laughs> louder and louder and it may not be that beautiful so let's go with that did you see that you see what the sound is getting so if you're getting this kind of sound it is because you are you are you get too deep inside so outside you will not get the sound is at the middle and inside you see that sound you know that's what you hear when you see people learning <laughs> that's why disturbing the neighborhood okay so you get the saxophone and broke your so while you are trying to make a sound with watch out and see that you are not at the tip you are not at the end you are just like in the middle another thing you can do is you don't try to position the sax like this <laughs> or like this too much. Just try and position the sax a little bit and then as if you are biting up. Sometimes when you want to get the low C, the low keys, you have to find, you, you have to, as a beginner, the end of, you can bite up, you can bite down. So let's bite up and see. See? Different sound. If you bite up, so if you bite up, it's going to give you a, a lower note. I want to get a low note. So you just keep positioning your mouth, bite up, bite straight like that until you get, you get it. And then uh, let's quickly look at the fringing exercise I want to give you. Sax, we have um, you, your fingers, I'm going to call this your, 
1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's go. First of all, holding the saxophone, your, your left thumb is on this side of the saxophone. This is your position for your left thumb. Is the one you're going to use to control the octave key. Your left thumb. Thumb. Something like this. So, so you place this right here. And then this guy is your thumb support. Look at it, thumb support. You place your hand on this side, and then you are back, you are there now. So I haven't done that. Position the sax between your 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 that if you are sitting down, but if you are going to be standing, if you're going to be standing, you position your sax. You know, you don't need to just place it by the side of by your side. So that is the, the position, if you are sitting, you just, with the tenor, you, you know, tenor, you can't put it here because you just slide it by the side. This can go this way because it's kind of uh, smaller. Of course, the soprano side is just straight. So you go, one, two, this time around, I want you to remove this when you are practicing this. Remove the neck from the body. So, and then keep it somewhere. Keep it somewhere. So you have, for now, I'm going to do it like this because I'm not playing the sax. So my thumb rest, my thumb support, one. This is your one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So you go one, two, anything you press, let it remain pressed. So you, you leave it, don't remove, don't do like this, don't do like this. One, two, add two, add three. Add one, add two, add three, add four. Release everything and give you one. Then add two, three. One, two, three, four. You are adding. You are not, you are not doing like this. Don't do like this. Make sure anything you press, you keep it pressed. So let's go with our sax. Can you do that? Raise your sax a bit so that you can pick it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Everything is pressed. Hold it tight. Go again. One. When you are releasing it, let me do it. She's doing it like a professional. Let me do it for you so that you understand. So let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. When you release everything, release. Look at it. Wow. Everything is released except one. So I go again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. You have the opportunity of looking at it now. But when you start blowing, you will not be able to see what you are pressing. So you go again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. See, everything should be closed except when you are going, you release everything once. See, one, one, you get two, three, one, two, three, four. Then you go again, one, two. It means you are not releasing one. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's that about that exercise. Do that exercise over and over. You don't need this. To do that so you continue doing it so let me blow again and see after you've gotten it you try and see if you can blow what you just practice so i'm there <laughs> Over and over and over. Whichever sax you are using, you should be able to get that. If you are a soprano, if you get that easy and you continue on it, you can I swear press everything and then release it one after the other. Taking us to the next exercise. So you press. Three, four together, everything you press it together and then release four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Let's go again. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. See, everything is pressed. You're only releasing now. When you are coming down, you are, you are adding. When you are going up, you are subtracting. So let's go. There. Like 
four. Okay, Versus, let's go. Okay, guys, that is that about um, the exercise. So continue until you can go and as smooth as you can. Don't make it fast from the beginning. You start from slow to fast, and you can go. Make sure you're not jumping any any part in trying to be fast. Rathas, can you do that from slow to fast? Okay, guys, quickly, how come we're not sounding on the same key? You are blowing the same key C, I'm blowing the same key C, but these two sacks, if you notice, they sound alike. This one is sounding off. What? And then if you check it, this is key C on the keyboard. Oh. We have key C on the keyboard. What will this key give you on the on the sax? This key, this key C is going to give her key A. Key A is giving her key C. You see? Key C on the keyboard, key A on the on the auto saxophone. Then you're going to have D. Key D on the soprano saxophone and then key D. Key D. Why is it like that? This is what you call the tenor saxophone is the B flat instrument. The auto saxophone is an E flat instrument. And then the soprano saxophone is also a B flat instrument. What does it mean? It means this guy is going to be a tone higher from the keyboard. The keyboard is going to be playing key C. And then I will go a tone from key C, you get to your key D. That you have your C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. For those of you that don't know this, again, key C, your key C, after C, you have C sharp, you have your D, you have your D sharp, you have E, you have F, you have your F sharp, your G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. When you are going backward, it becomes flat. The black keys, those, uh, the, the, the accidental keys become your flat. So you have C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, your D, your D flat, and then your key C. So if the key, the, the concert key C, the keyboard, the concert instrument, that's keys. This guy is playing on key C. You, that you are on the tenor, you're going to be playing key D. Just go a tone higher. Whatever key they are playing, they are playing key F, what will you be playing? So let's assume they are on key F. I'll be playing my G. What will you be playing at that point? He is, she is going to be a three semitone backward. Three semitone backward. So if it is key C, I'm going backward, I have B, B flat, and then A, you see? The keyboard is on key C. She's going backward three semitone. So, or one and a half tone. So you go B, B flat, and A. That's why she's on A. What if they are playing key F? What will you be playing? D. She'll be playing key D in the sense that F, E flat, F, E, E flat, and then D. She's going to be on key D. So, it means if the keyboard is on key F, flow on key. Just flow something. That is what? Key. Key D. Key D. So if that they are on key D, I'm going to be on key D. If that's your key G. What if we're on, um, we're on key C? The keyboard is on key C. What will you be playing? Flow, let me hear. Thank you guys. That's how it goes. I'm going to get leave you with a kind of a picture. 
that helps you to understand how this instrument relates. This is an E flat instrument, three semitone backward. This is a B flat instrument, a tone forward. This one, the soprano sax is the same thing. Whatever this is blowing is the same thing. Sax, trumpet is also a B flat instrument. That's a, the, a B flat instrument. So this guy is B flat, so a tone forward also. Thank you guys. In the next class, we'll take you from there. We're going to, please, as you go, continue to practice this. Don't forget to continue to practice your fingers exercise on key C. All right, guys, see you in the next class. Bye. I remain, this is Vera Sax, I remain Musax. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel as we have great things coming your way. God bless you, right? Yeah.